Hello everyone, this is Jason from Primetime Aquatics. Today, I thought it'd be a good idea to take you around the fish room and show you what it looks like when a female is holding eggs or holding fry. In some of our past videos, you'll hear us talking about how a female is holding or we've got a breeding group. I wanted to show you what that looks like in case you ever get into breeding cichlids or you want to know if your fish is sick or maybe they're reproducing. So stay tuned and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is our 55 gallon with our Eureka Reds. Uh, that is the male that just went under there. The rest of the fish are females. So in this tank, uh, what you're gonna notice first sometimes with a female that's holding eggs is she's gonna be staying away from the rest of the group. So for instance, this female here, well, she's scared now that I'm holding the camera in her face. Uh, she's been spending a lot of time in the upper left-hand corner. Where these two, they're kind of more social and out and about. But you can see here, uh, this one, she's kind of on her own, or at least she was on her own. So that's thing number one you want to look for, is if you've got a fish that's kind of maybe up in a corner, like we see over here, or they're just kind of on their own and not really interacting with other fish. The next thing you're going to notice is they're not going to want to eat. And the reason they don't want to eat, they can't. Uh, this dragon blood here at the bottom has a mouth full of eggs. And so she's been, for the most part, kind of staying to herself. Uh, you can see compared to, let's say, this little guy up here, mouth is normal. They're breathing in. Uh, they're taking water into their mouth and out their gills. This fish is not doing that. And of course, now she's going to swim away because she hates the camera. But the other thing you're going to be looking for are fish that won't eat. And so they'll go up to the food, but they're not going to actually eat the food because they can't with a mouthful of eggs or a mouthful of fry. And then after a while, you're going to notice this. This is the Geophagus steindactyli. She has got a mouthful of eggs. It looks like she's chewing on something. Her whole mouth is extended. And all she can do when fish get too close to her is kind of ram them with her face, and she will do that from time to time. But this fish here has been like this for about two or th almost three weeks now. Uh, she's getting ready to spit these fry out. But you can see that her mouth is really extended. Look at that. So she's got a whole mouth full of fry right now. And at some point, we'll talk more about how to remove eggs and remove fry if that's something you're interested in doing. But you can see she can't open her mouth. She can't, you know, take water in through her mouth, through her gills. She obviously can't eat like that. And most of the time, she will do exactly what she's doing now. And that is spend some time in that upper left-hand corner. All right, everyone, so hopefully you found that useful. We've got a number of fish holding in our fish room besides the Geophagus, the Eurekan Reds, the Dragon Bloods. We've got some uh, Mixed Imbunas holding. We've got some Red Empress Cichlids holding. So I wanted to just show you what that looks like in case you were curious, uh, in case you were into uh, keeping cichlids. You know, often when you have a large group of cichlids, there's a good chance they're going to breed if the species are very similar. So again, you're going to see them be reclusive. They might go behind a sponge filter, up in a corner, in a cave. They just want to be left alone. The females want to be left alone. They're going to stop eating. They're going to get skinny. Uh, how long they hold those eggs and fry is dependent upon the species. It's dependent upon the inhabitants in the tank. It's dependent upon, in some cases, temperature in terms of how quickly the fry develop. So all of those things are going to play a role. Uh, they're also going to get that big extended mouth and so after a little while once those eggs start to hatch and the fry are there it's going to be a little bit harder for the females to hold them in eventually she's going to have to spit those fry out so if you found this useful subscribe give us a thumbs up share it and we'll see you in the next one